What is up, YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown as to why 90% of contractors say that my home will be moldy and falling down in under seven years, okay? The first reason they don't like my build is because I did not frame eaves on my home. All these eaves that you see on my house, these are framed after the fact and they have a sandwiched piece of insulation in between them because I'm stopping the thermal bridging that goes from the exterior of your home to the interior of your home. Now, if you don't know what thermal bridging is, I'll explain it to you here on this wall. I have a board here. Oop, that's a window. Hey now, almost broke it. Oh, it just hit the rim, we're good. Um, if you imagine heat hitting this two by six, when this heats up, it's gonna heat up all the way through this wood and then it's gonna be hot on the inside of this wood. Now what's on the inside of this wood? It's your drywall. So every time your house heats up, these framing members heat up as well and transfer heat directly into your home. You don't have insulation here. It's directly to your drywall and your paint, and now you have that heat into your home. So by framing that way, you're not building an efficient home. So what I'm doing is I am taking the insulation here that I have over here. All this insulation here is gonna go on the exterior of my home. You can see up under these eaves that I framed after the fact, you can see there's insulation between them which is purely there to stop the thermal bridging of heat coming in from my eaves. Now, eaves are typically very leaky and just horribly engineered aspects of homes. Like we all understand that eaves are meant to kick the water off your home so it protects your foundation. That's important. But what they don't realize is when you have a vented eave, it leaves space for insects, critters, all types of things to crawl up into your attic space, which just creates horrible air quality. Then what we do is we go into our home and we punch a ton of holes in our drywall because we got to put can lights, we got to put ceiling fans, we got to put, you know, uh, 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 vent fans in our bathrooms, we got to put all types of things in our in our ceiling and we just punch holes through it. Then the rats and the mice and all the nasty things run around and poop up there. And then our AC units up there, our HVA systems up there, our duct work is up there. And then we blow all that air into our house. So now you understand why it's important to be a little bit smarter when you build homes. I'm not saying that that's a horrible way to frame. I'm not saying that's the worst case. You know, I'm not saying that that's horrible. I'm just saying there are better ways to build. With this home, I don't have any external air or any external anything, insects or any holes going from the outside to the inside of my home. So how do I control that? Like I said before, I put all this insulation that I have sitting here on the exterior of my home. It is all installed and it completely blankets my home from external heat, which stops thermal bridging, which means that my entire frame is sandwiched by insulation. So on the outside, I have uh, uh, poly iso foam, three inches on the roof, inch and a half on the walls. On the inside, I have rock wool, R15 in the cavities, R33, I believe, or something like that, in the attic, which means all my framing members are sandwiched from outside to inside by insulation. Now, on top of the insulation on this roof, I'm gonna be doing two by fours laying flat, which is gonna give me an inch and a half of air gap between my insulation and my metal roof. Now this metal roof is going to go on top of those purlins, which means there's going to be an air gap there, which means any type of condensation or moisture that develops under that metal roof will be vented externally from my home, externally from my conditioned envelope, and will be able to drip out down at the, uh, at the drip edge and also dissipate any type of ridge uh, moisture that's there. Now at the ridge of my home, there will be a vapor permeable uh, house wrap that will give me the ability to have any moisture that does get to that ridge to dissipate on the exterior under the metal roof and dissipate again in that same area under that air gap with my metal roof. Now that right there is the way to vent your home. I am venting it externally. Therefore, I don't have to bring any of that air into my home. Now I am putting an ERV in this home, which is basically a controlled electronic device that lets condition or not condition, lets filtered air into the home and kick stale air out, thus keeping my interior air clean and a high quality. Um, I'll also have a dehumidifier in the house. I don't think it's necessary, but I just want one in general. We are in Texas and it gets pretty gross up here sometimes. Um, and I am running uh, mini splits, which have a tendency to have high humidity uh, when they kick out. So overall, that's the reason why most builders hate my build. One, because they think that external air is is a must for a, a su successful structure when they don't understand that external air is actually a horrible way to do it. So if I were to frame the same home traditionally, my attic space is usually, I'm, I'm not, don't quote me on this, but it's usually, I think around 30 to 50 degrees higher 
than the external temperature. So if it's 100 degrees here in Texas, my attic space, if it was a traditional vented attic space, it would be 150 degrees. And then I'm going to put all of my, my, my water, no, probably not my water heater, but I'll put my HVA system up there. I'll put my ducts work up there. I'll have all this stuff up in, in the attic and it's just baking. And that heat is then going to dissipate through the holes that I cut in my drywall, which is going to put it, you know, into my envelope, which is going to create a very inefficient home. Not to mention the air quality and not to mention the leakage from your HVA system, which is just not efficient and is not a great way to build. In the end, if you're going to be building a home, I would highly recommend finding a builder or building it yourself that understands the importance of thermal bridging and thermal breakage. So you want to make sure that they are focused on how to how to create uh, thermal breaks when it comes to framing. You also want them to take into account air quality. So thermal bridging, air quality, and then obviously moisture. The biggest thing, the biggest uh, uh, detriment to a home is moisture. So the after you put all those things together, you got to make sure that you have moisture. I'm doing three or four different precautions. I'm wrapping. I already have Huber Zip, which is great. And then I'm actually going to wrap this with something else. Then I'm putting the insulation on top of that. And then I'm putting an air gap on top of that. So every step, there's a way for moisture to dissipate no matter what. So therefore, the only way that this house is going to have issues with water, mold, or anything like that is if someone just cuts a hole through everything and dumps buckets of water in my house. Otherwise, there is about three ways for water to dissipate at each stage of the roof to the insulation to the house wrap to the Huber zip. Um, and then at that point, if it gets past all that, then it's going to hit the uh, house wrap. And then if it gets past that, then I'm screwed. But if it gets that far, I got bigger issues to deal with. Overall, that is the way I'm framing this home. I hope that helps. I know that's a lot of gibberish, um, but overall, I hope that helps somebody. That's why 90% of contractors absolutely hate what I'm doing is because they just don't understand it. Um, and, you know, when people don't understand anything, they think it's wrong. So anyway, guys, much love to you guys. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. My name is John Dawson. I am building uh, this guest house on my ranch. Um, I am going to be building my main house way down there eventually. But as of right now, this is the home that I'm building. So if you guys want to follow along, we got a deck going in soon. Uh, we got roofing. We got insulation going up. A lot more videos coming to you guys. I hope to see you on a future video. Much love, y'all.